hey hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so as you can see in the screen uh, i recently cracked the cnsp as well as cap exam which is the essential part but uh, i thought of making this video based on the cnsp review now i didn't see any much of review video in youtube so i thought of let me contribute into that so let me tell you how was the exam and what are the things you should expect and prepare and from which all domains the question might come and the challenges you might face okay so as you can see over here there is nothing called as with merit that means i also faced challenges i think i barely passed these two exams like even though i did a lot of cts and everything but still like i was lagging so they do say that it as a very essential and very basic but that doesn't mean that you do not need to study it okay anyway so what are the things that you need to do is uh, hold on let me first close it and if i go to the secobs group uh, website from pen testing exam if you go to cnsp actually i can tell you like by heart only what i can uh, what are the exams are there but still it would be better if you go through all this but what i saw is there will be very less question on malware analysis there were not so many or probably there were but there were could be like very basics of those now in terms of this exam what is the main mode or like the main topics that will be coming is the first is the wish your hand should be well familiar with the linux and windows powershell or command prompt and linux terminal okay so every question you can expect from there then next is active directory from active directory the questions will be coming like in a very i would not say in a very depth manner but in a normal manner and like you should be doing powershell and how to deal with your active directory by using powershell now another topic that i would like to suggest is that to understand what is nmap and how are the attacks of nmaps or how, when we run nmap what happens behind the scene and what are the packets are being sent and based on that like let me give you a example question for example there's a question like there is a port 22 which is opened behind the firewall and the port is uh both closed and open let's take two example both closed port closed port 22 behind the firewall and closed port 22 which is not behind the firewall so if you send a sin packet what are you expecting or if you send a hit onto that port if you scan that port which what are the results that you're expecting so this kind of question so you might want to know that what will happen if i send this ismp packet or sin packet to one of the port which might be open or closed and which might be present in front or behind the firewall okay so this type of question you are uh, expected to know because these type of question will be there in a very huge amount okay number two i said i think your active directory and security should also be there active directory security linux and windows security because there might be a question based on out of all these four vulnerabilities which is a linux vulnerability or windows vulnerability or there could be another type of question like out of all these uh, all these four options which is uh, which is a brute force kind of method of doing things now i don't know how much am i allowed to tell about the questions but this is how the things will be coming on okay so i would be saying that you should be well familiar with the linux terminal very well familiar because they will be asking questions 
on some commands as well like i don't exactly remember which command but there will be commands okay now next is your your hand should be familiar with the active directory controlling with powershell by the way there will be no gui for active directory so if you think that you can find the answers by seeing the image no you cannot they will be given you giving you command like for example they will be giving you like this if i show you from here mm, they might be telling you that in a powershell it's written like net user local group administrator okay now they will be asking you what is the meaning of this command and four options will be there so this is one way uh, another might be there like for example grow local group uh, i think domain admin something like this will be given and then they will be asking so i didn't knew all these things let me be honest i'll not try to be a hero i didn't know all these things i just uh, guessed or based on some ctf experience i just hit it and somehow i barely managed to pass why i'm saying barely because as you know i don't have the word made it over here so that means i somehow passed now if i mm, show you the actual thing like how many so hold on let me just open it in a different tab um okay if i show you give me a minute mm. it was from oh where is it i think i have started hold on yeah your exam this one uh let me take a quick screenshot of it yeah so this is how the things will be uh where am i supposed to show you yep this will be the uh, type or this will be your result outcome so i think i sorry so i think i got near about 70 percent in cnsp and 72 percent in cap exam cap exam was a bit easier for me again for me why because i have dealt with many web thing but this one was a bit tricky so don't get fooled by the name or by how people might write in the other reviews that it's very basic i i do agree that yes it is very basic comparing or taking in count how huge and complex the current cyber security industry is so that is very well basic but that doesn't mean that you will be not studying okay so this was the entire uh, review of it how to prepare i said you just use chat gpt use chat gpt as hell okay but again the exam will be proctored and it will be ai proctored by the way so if you do a slightest movement also so basically you can fool a human but you cannot fool the ai because that is totally computer programmed okay so you can make excuses to the human being but not to the ai so your microphone will be turned on your camera will be turned on and your screen will be shared so these things will be there so and also if you do any kind of noise you can listen your noise in the speaker like once i make a tuck sound so you can see that sound is getting resonated so make sure no whisperings or anything no people are there and you're not uh irregularly moving your eyesight because that might make the ai trigger that this is a kind of a uh, like the person is trying to cheat so this is all my review and how to prepare i said you can use chat gpt you can see some exam dumps probably i don't know whether you have or not 
you can go to mock exam and give it for free the mock exams are also proctored but you can do whatever you want no one sees that and there one more thing is in the mock exam you will be getting i think four to five questions and those four to five questions will be repeating every time you give so i've given all the mock exams but it was repetitive i think you get only five mock exams so that's on it so yeah this is all about the exam i wish all the best to you if you are preparing for it and i also heartfelt like i also congratulate you if you do happen to pass that too with merit so a very very well congratulations to that but anyways this, this is my review and on the next video i'll be doing a review of the cap examination where i will be speaking about that certification in a bit more depth okay so have a great day goodbye and see you guys in the next video bye bye